Welcome to Civil Engineering Online. Subject is Design of Places, Concrete Structures. Module 4 Design of Sections for Shear Topic Numerical Shear Design on PSC Members. I am Ravi B. Tilaganchi. So, seeing in the previous class, so today's problem is determine the maximum principal tension in the section shown in figure. Also, state whether this is within the specified limits. Assume vertical shear force across the given section as 1,20,000 Newtons, effective pressure 400 kilonewton in tendon, inclination of the tendon with the horizontal at the given section is sine inverse of 1 by 20. Horizontal pressure across the given section varies linearly from 12 Newton per mm square at the top and 1 newton per mm square at the bottom so this is the pre-stress which is occurring the stresses which are occurring in the member already it is given both are under compressive m40 grade of concrete is used solution in this part so the figure shows is the given i section determining the cg from the top center of gravity from the top so for y bar so this figure is the question figure wherein we have to determine the maximum principal tensile stress for the sections and here is the first y bar what we have calculated as per the formula so y bar is from the top fiber from this section to this section which comes out to be 250 mm so we call it as yt and bottom as yb now in I section, we are considering this as only 250 mm. So to calculate Y bar, this calculation as per the particular part of the problem for the figure. Moment of inertia. So the same figure we are using for calculation of moment of inertia as Ix plus I plus equals to I, I plus A into H square. Yeah, here three sections are divided and calculated. So I becomes as 4.083 into 10 raised to 9 mm raised to 4. Shear force is equal to V is equal to this given shear force is 1,20,000 Newtons. Effective pressure of the tendon is P as given as 4 lakh that is 400 kilo Newtons. Inclination of the tendon with horizontal is sine inverse of 1 upon 20. So this sine inverse of 1 upon 20 we can take into sine theta and cos theta. So sine theta is acting in the vertical direction for the inclination. So shear force carried by the tendon itself only in vertical direction is P times of sine theta. So P is the 4 hundred kilonewton and sine theta is 1 upon 20. We get it as 20 kilonewton which is 20,000 newtons therefore shear force carried only by the concrete is how much so this much amount of shear force is carried by the tendon and total shear force is acting is this much so now vc is equals to v minus p sin theta so this is the shear force carried uh, acting on the member and this is the shear force carried by only tendon so remaining part is totally carried by the concrete which we have to consider now consider an element at a lower junction but in web i section is given we have to consider the lower junction first but in the web shear stress at any on any element is given by tau v is equals to vc a y bar by ib so this vc a y bar by ib in i section but at this junction how we have to take in the next part so tau v is equals to this much is the shear force which is remaining in the concrete so this is the area this is the y bar and moment of inertia and the b part so which comes the value as 1.47 newton per mm square this figure says that so junction in the bottom but in the web so breadth is 200 mm and this depth is 100 mm and the shear force acting is 100 kilonewton that is 1 lakh y bar is this distance from cg of the section to the center of the element so this part comes as 300 because this total is 
350 out of half if it is taken this is 50 minus so this part of total is 300 mm moment of inertia substituting and 100 mm is the breadth so 100 mm we have to consider this part of the junction not the total width as 200 mm we have to consider only the junction width as 100 mm at the bottom in the denominator therefore vertical precessing is not mentioned in the question that is fy we can assume pre vertical precessing as fy is equals to 0 fx is the stress due to the horizontal pre-stress. fx is equals to 1 plus 1.833 is equals to 2.833 we got this 1.833 by interpolating the values from figure so this is the interpolation part where we are doing it for the bottom web only here at this point only so when we interpolate here this 12 newton per mm square and 1 newton per mm square is given in the question we are interpolating this values to know how much is at this junction so this is 100 mm so this total width is 1 newton per mm square when we interpolate the value of this part it comes as 1.83 so the total becomes as 2.833 which is 1.83 by interpolating the values from this figure we are considering now for tension we are going to find out what is the principal stresses so f minimum is the tension we have to consider so minimum forces are acting and f minimum we will consider it comes as fx when we substitute 2.33 into this value and fy as 0 and tau v as 1.47 we get it as minus 0 0.625 newton per mm square permissible tensile stress so permissible tensile stress in the concrete is also provided in is 1343 on page number 46 it is 0 0.24 square root of fck ft is equals to 0 0.24 square root of 40 the fck is m40 grid in the question so ft is equals to 1.52 newton per mm square since f minimum is less than ft so when we see this and this value this is in the positive value this is in the negative value much much less than the required permissible tensile shear so hence the section is safe in the shear in this part However, nominal share reinforcement may be provided. So, nominal share reinforcement may be provided in the section. Tau V is equals to Vc A Y bar IB. So, this part is in this upper junction which we are going to consider now. Means add the CG of the section. So, to consider the CG of the section above the CG of the section, the whole element is considered now. So, Vc is known to us that is 1 vc is known to us it is 100 kilo newton that is 1 lakh and area now area is of two sections so here two sections is one is 400 into 100 the upper flange 400 into 100 and distance from the cg up to its cg is h1 which becomes as 200 mm so this is 250 out of that 50 is deducted so it is 200 now remaining this part so this width is 100 mm width is 100 mm depth is total so out of total 250 100 is deducted remaining is 150 so this 150 half of 150 is again 75 which is at the center of this part this distance we have to consider for the element of up to this section Calculating the tau v at this value is 2.236 newton per mm square. F of x is again interpolating this part. So we are interpolating 12 newton per mm square and 1 newton per mm square at the center of gravity Cg. So value is 6.4167. So adding that into this 1 newton per mm square, we get 7.46 newton per mm square. For tension, F minimum is equals to minus 0 0.62 less than ft so hence section is safe in shear so here for f tension for tension we have to use that the value of f of x f max bar f minimum 
is equals to f of x plus f of y divided by 2 plus or minus half under root of f x plus f y square plus 4 times tau v square that part you have to include in this middle step therefore the nominal share reinforcement can be provided moving to the fourth problem an i section with following details of top flange as 600 mm 200 mm web as 150 mm 800 mm bottom flange as 300 mm 200 mm so looking into dimensions we are easily able to draw the cross section of the i section shear force across the section is 250 kilonewton effective pre-stress in the cable is 1500 kN. Inclination of the tendon at a given section is sin inverse of 1 by 20. Fiber stresses in concrete varies linearly from 11 Newton per mm square. Compression at the top 1 Newton per mm square. Compression at the bottom if M35 grade of concrete is used. Determine maximum principal tension developed in the section in previous problem here it was 12 newton per mm square and 1 newton per mm square as it is now we have to interpolate between 11 newton per mm square and 1 newton per mm square solution determining the cg of the top from top fiber so putting the i section into figure and able to determine y bar from the top fiber we are able to get it as 500 mm so 600 by 200 600 by 200 150 by 800 150 by 800 flange 300 by 200 300 by 200 finding out the y bar and y b from the bottom if we are required y bar from the bottom moment of inertia calculating as the previous problem so this comes as 4.9 into 10 raised to 10 mm raised to 4 shear force is given as 250 kilonewton which is acting effective pre-stress in the cable is 1500 kilonewton inclination of the tendon with horizontal is sine inverse of 1 bar 20 therefore shear force carried by tendon is p sine of theta 1500 into 1 by 20 is 75 kilonewtons shear force carried by concrete only vc is equals to v minus p sine theta which comes out to be 175 kilo newtons tau v v c a y bar by i b so looking into this part of figure we have to calculate the tau v so calculating the v c and tau v for the upper most figure now. so this part when we are calculating as i have not shown this in the previous problem here you are able to see it clearly 600 into 200 600 into 200 so this distance is 300 plus this 100 as total 400 and now this part of the web is 150 and 300 so half of 300 is 150 similarly we have to assume for the previous problem also if you are getting any confusions 4.9 into 10 raised to 10 into 150 so 150 is the web width at this junction now what we are considering so we get the nominal tau v as 1.3035 you can take up to two decimals also 1.30 newton per mm square therefore vertical precessing is not mentioned we can assume vertical precessing fy as zero fx is the stress due to horizontal pre-stress fx is equals to 1 plus 5.83 is equal to 6.83 so interpolating by the values at this junction itself only we get this as 5.83 so this is 11 newton per mm square this is 1 newton per mm square interpolating the values of this at a distance of about total from the top fiber it is at 500 mm so here 500 mm from here to here at that value if we interpolate it comes as 5.83 newton per mm square that we are adding to 1 newton per mm square which is already added in this so it is total 6.83 newton per mm square is the f of x for tension f minimum fx plus fy by 2 plus or minus half of square root of fx plus fy whole square plus 4 tau v square f minimum comes out as minus 0.2 for newton per mm square which is less than ft ft is again we know that 
point now tau is 1,75,000 calculating for bottom junction so bottom junction value comes out to be so this bottom junction is 300 into 200 distance is 600 from the center so from here to here we know that it is total of 700 moment of in a, um, distance as yb out of that 100 is deducted so total is 600 we have to consider at this point now b the width at the junction this value of the width of the b we have to consider so that is the shear stress what we are going to consider therefore vertical precessing is not mentioned we can assume vertical precessing f by equal to 0 fx is the stress due to horizontal pre-stress f of x is equal to 1 plus 1.67 2.67 so interpolating the values as this we are at this junction we get this interpolation value as 1.67 so total becomes as 2.67 from tension so for tension substituting in this value f minimum comes as minus 0.2514 newton per mm square less than ft is again 0.24 root of fck permissible stair stress this is tensile stress page number 46 substituting that is 1.52 so much much less than for both the values since f minimum is less than ft the section is safe in shear however the nominal shear reinforcement may be provided hope you all have understood the topic see you in the next topic thank you numerical analysis section thank you for watching please like share and subscribe the channel